In this video, we're talking about some of the more bizarre, mysterious inhabitants that lurk in the waters of Africa. From a giant piranha to Nessie's long-lost African cousin. The Jengu As far as mythical creatures go, mermaids are the most captivating. The sirens of the sea have long-enchanted sailors who have spun tales of their mesmerizing beauty since the 15th century. Cameroon in Central Africa is home to a similar creature called the Jengu. This water spirit inhabits the coastal areas of the African nation's rivers and seas. It's described as a beautiful creature with woolly hair and a gap-toothed smile. The Jengu is worshipped by various tribes and cults in Cameroon, such as the Sawa and the Pequeri. Legend says that children under seven who see or hear this siren may die. However, you're spared from this fate if you're part of the cult. Because of this, it's common to see young girls doing ritualistic things as a form of protection from this mystical maiden. In exchange, the Jengu is said to bestow good fortune and healing upon those who adore her. Popobawa If mermaids are captivating and beautiful, this human-like creature is the exact opposite. Popobawa is a legendary shape-shifting monster that's said to live on the island of Pemba near Tanzania. During the day, it appears to be human-like, but at night it turns into a demonic bat. While it lives near the coast, it most often attacks sleeping villagers inland. An odor similar to sulfur alerts most to its presence, and sometimes its claws can be heard scraping on the roofs of houses it has decided to target. This monster attacks men, women, and children, and it may attack its victims physically, or may sodomize them while in bed. The creature is said to force its victims to tell everyone about their experience, or else they will attack again with greater ferocity. In 1995, a mass panic in the Zanzibar archipelago was said to be caused by multiple Popabawa attacks. Sightings as recent as 2007 have also been reported. If you find yourself in an area prone to attack from this demonic bat, don't sleep in your bed. Instead, spend the night awake outside and huddle around an open fire with your companions. Nile Perch Ask any fisherman from the U.S. and they'll tell you that perch are small, easy to catch, and most of all, tasty. However, perch fishing in Africa means contending with dangerous waters, carnivorous crocodiles, and aggressive hippos. Oh, and did we tell you that this fish can weigh up to 500 pounds? This makes the Nile perch one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. Interactions with humans are rare due to their perilous habitat, but British fisherman Tim Smith attempted to catch one in 2017. A giant Nile perch had taken the bait, but it also attracted a nearby Nile crocodile. The croc began attacking the fish as it was being reeled in, only to disappear under the water. Before Smith could figure out what was happening, it resurfaced right under him and attacked with its wide, gaping jaws. The crocodile missed by mere inches, and a stunned Smith still managed to reel in his catch. He'd intended to release the fish after catching it, but it died from its injury sustained by the killer croc. This perch measured 82 inches long and weighed a whopping 249 pounds. As a souvenir of his near-death experience, Ugandan authorities allowed Smith to keep the head of the perch. Its body was released back to the river where it belonged, where it was probably devoured by the croc afterward. Kangamato It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a flying dinosaur! Actually, it's neither of the three. The African nations of Zambia, Angola, and the Democratic Republic of Congo are home to a flying monster called the Kangamato. It first received widespread attention in 1932 when explorer Frank Wellen described the creature in his book. It's said to live in the swamps and rivers of southern Africa. The creature is described as having large wings, a 4.5 foot long body, and a wingspan ranging from 4 to 7 feet. It has reddish skin and a beak full of small, sharp teeth, and its appearance suggests that it may very well be related to pterosaurs. This includes the likes of Pterodactyl or the Pteranodon, which makes the Kongamato at least as old as the dinosaurs. Locals have reported their boats or canoes being capsized by this creature, which inspired its African name, roughly translating to Breaker of Boats. If you're traveling in areas where attacks occur, better find a local shaman first. A charm made from the ground-up root of a Mulendi tree knitted to the area is supposedly effective at warding off the flying monster. But I'm gonna take my chances with a good old-fashioned shotgun. African Lungfish Not all prehistoric creatures look like dinos, but this African fish has an interesting ability that's held over from our ancestors from 400 million years ago. You see, the African Lungfish has both gills and lungs, allowing it to breathe underwater and on land. It travels through water and mud and can be found in the shallow waters of West and South Africa. This curious little fish can grow up to be 40 inches long and weigh up to 8 pounds. It's omnivorous, which basically means it eats almost everything in its path, from fish and frogs and tree roots and seeds. 
It can also burrow up to 9 inches underground, where it hibernates to protect itself when its habitat dries up. In this state, its metabolism slows down and it can survive up to 4 years by simply getting nutrients from its muscle tissue. If you want to see one for yourself, listen out for a loud belching noise. That's the sound of a lungfish breathing over water. Asenbosum Of all the movie monsters, vampires certainly are the most popular, and Africa is home to what I think is the most terrifying version of all. The Asenbosum, or sometimes the Sasenbosum, are legendary vampiric creatures from Ghana and Togo in West Africa. They live in forested areas near rivers and swamps. These human-like creatures stand up to 7 feet tall and are incredibly muscular and powerful. It has great control over its legs and feet, much like a chimpanzee. It's also said to have a strong jaw filled with iron-like teeth, which can tear off a man's arm in a single bite. Similar to a vampire bat, the Asenbosum hangs upside down from tree branches where it awaits its prey. Its feet contain hook-like fangs which it jams onto its unsuspecting victims, allowing it to drink blood through its feet. There's no need for silver bullets or wooden stakes for this thing, though. Experience hunters say that this African vampire isn't as supernatural as its European counterparts. But should you ever run into one, try to attack it from a distance. They have keen senses but are easily distracted when feasting, so you win when you knock them off their perch because they're pretty much useless on the ground. Minkananka Dragons are mythical creatures that have been part of legends and folk tales from England to China. Did you know that Africa has its own version as well? Meet the Ninkinanka, a dragon that lives in African swamps and the Gambia River. Don't let the catchy name fool you, though. Death comes upon virtually everyone who meets its gaze. If you don't perish on the spot, you're sure to die within a five-year time span. Because of this, there are very few eyewitnesses of this monster, and descriptions vary greatly. You come face to face with one, show no fear and you might at least survive the encounter. Or if you need to do business in the area, do what this hotel company did. Plant a baobab tree over the entrance of its home. The dragon was said to be anger, but did nothing due to the tree's sacred nature. And now it's time for the day's best pick. We have mythical creatures and then we have factual creatures here, but this river creature escaped banishment from the gods after they decided it was too dangerous to be kept alive. The Groot Slang In the market for a diamond mine? Africa is the place to be, but be wary of this dangerous river creature said to terrorize those in search of this precious gem. The Groot Slang, meaning the Great Snake, is found in Richterveld, South Africa. Legends say that gods created this animal only to find it too powerful and dangerous. They decided to split it into two separate creatures, the first elephants and the first snakes. One of the original Groot Slangs escaped, becoming the ancestor of all Groot Slangs that reportedly still exist today. Some eyewitnesses say that it looks like a giant python, while others call it more elephant-like. It can grow up to about 60 feet long and is strong enough to snatch unwary cattle drinking from the edge of the water. It lives in a cave known as the Bottomless Pit or the Wonder Hole. This cave is supposedly filled with diamonds, which it guards with its life. Should you ever encounter one, all you have to do is offer it some diamonds to be granted safe passage. But if you don't have any on ya, <laughs> uh, bye there, buddy. The Goliath Tigerfish African rivers are known for piranhas, but I bet you didn't think a giant one existed. The Goliath Tigerfish is not endangered, but it is hard to find for different reasons. It's found only in the Democratic Republic of Congo, thriving in rapids where other fish have difficulty swimming. This large and well-built fish grows up to 6 feet long and weighs up to 150 pounds. It has long crocodile-like teeth which it uses to great effect against other fish, including bigger ones such as the Nile perch. Expert fisherman Jeremy Wade caught a large specimen in 2017 after failing to locate it for 25 years. He had intended to release the fish after he caught it, but it sadly died while struggling. Authorities allowed Wade to give the rare fish to a nearby village where it was promptly eaten. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Mokeli Mbebe Dinosaurs died 65 million years ago, but popular culture shows our fascination with the idea that these great lizards just might still be alive. And some do believe this to be true, which you'll know if you've heard of Scotland's Loch Ness Monster. Well, did you know the Democratic Republic of Congo has its very own Nessie, named Mokeli Mbebe? Mokeli Mbebe was first described in a book by showman and zoologist Carl Hagenbeck. 
It's said to grow up to 35 feet long with brownish gray skin and a long, flexible neck. They live in self-dug caves along the riverbank and feast on a diet of elephants, hippos, and crocodiles. They don't seem to have a taste for humans, but have been known to attack boats and kill the occupants. Hundreds of sightings from both locals and explorers have encouraged many expeditions to locate the animal. But much like Nessie, there's not a lot of photographic evidence to completely confirm its existence. See you all next time!